it's a tied game currently. Credit where credit is due. Another rocket grab here for Native Red. They were able to get a lot of value off of this last time, and it seems like this time it's exactly the same. Great play, and wow. that's the second triple we've seen Do from Soul Snipe. He's charging, yes! and he gets the overkill extermination. <laughs> oh, sometimes. Are you a magician? Are you I a magician a or something, bro? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't post it, please. My journey to becoming a Halo Pro was starting in like 2015, 16 when I first started competing. I was only like 15 years old, but you know, I just did it for fun. Like I literally went to the Las Vegas event without telling my mom pretty much at first. I won $200 in this Astro free for all and it was enough for my flight. And I just went with some of my teammates. Obviously we did not do good because it was my first event, but it was really, really fun. I was able to see pro players that I looked up to play and from there on out, I just started competing and trying harder and harder, playing Money Yates, getting introduced to the to the scene. I met Druck, obviously, longtime duo. Uh, we just took things by storm. We just kept grinding it out together. Stronghold Rain trying to keep them out, and he goes down. Will they convert this hit? Stronghold back, and yes, they do. 90 to 27. Triple kill for Soulside, looking for the overkill. Will he get it? Soulside flying into blue base and gets the overkill. Uh, I eventually found Manny with Case, and it was us four for a little bit. We started doing a little bit better, placing champ bracket at least. And then I eventually met Talik and me, Talik, Manny, and Druk. We continued to just play the game together every day. A lot of criticism, a lot of arguments because we're like best friends and that, that's the steps that it took to be able to become where, who we are now. But pretty much we just had to keep grinding it out, grinding it out. And when Infinite came out, it was going to be an interesting leap. And we were really good at the end of Halo 5. And a lot of people doubted us going into Infinite, like, oh, these guys are Halo 5 kids. These guys are Halo 5 kids. And we knew we weren't. We knew we could do anything that we wanted to do. And we go into Infinite just like believing in ourselves and each other. And we do really, really good. And we just start off strong and so much passion flowing through all of us. And we just continue to do that and learn everything it took to be a professional. And that's why I'm here today. I think Native Red, they're on a tear right now. I think they believe they can win a world championship. And sometimes belief is all you need. Confidence going into those BR fights. So this is going to be an incredible win. It's fun. It's three dead here for Native Red once more. And Soul Sniper's last alive, but the rocket somehow oh. gets out of there. Might get two. Blind fire gets what three. Are you What's kidding on me? Earth? What in the X Games? Mr. Soul Sniper is now 22 and 13 and gets the stick and lives to tell the tale. Kettle flies down to the bottom mid side. Find that Mr. Sniper! Royal 2, where's your head? That is four players who know each other inside and out. Native red. The call outs, a lot of kind of one shot here, two shot there, but you've got to imagine. They know where they're pushing, they know where they need to push. A big double from Soul Snipe. Oh my <laughs> Don't post it, please.